we are in the Awesome Table template gallery, and if you will notice, there are different views for the way Awesome Tables are displayed. So like for instance, this is more of a table view, and down here you're going to have something called a card view. So it really just depends on what you're looking for. So what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these templates to create an Awesome Table. So I'm going to go down here, and I have one, and I like this card view and we're going to make a copy. Well, I've already made the copy, so the copy is here. But let's go to that awesome table. So when you click on that Make a Copy, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a copy of this, and it's going to look exactly like this. So in order to alter these things and alter the names and to add, to customize it to you, what you will do is you will go here to, you know, the copy of your spreadsheet because this is what's happening. You're create, this table has created a spreadsheet, and I'm just going to go over here to this. I'd already made this. And anything I adjust here is going to adjust on the awesome table. So for instance, if I were to change this to Google Apps, instead of saying Google Apps, say something like dogs, I go back over here to my awesome table, and I refresh it, now I have dogs. If I wanted to, I could adjust the image, and we're going to go back to our table, and notice we have our image URLs. Some of these people have embedded these URLs, or received, gotten these off of a, a site they have created. And what we're going to do is just go out to Google and we're going to grab a link. But just an FYI, make sure you are paying attention to copyright rules because not everything is, you know, ours for the taking. So I'm going to go here, and this is just strictly for purposes of demonstration. So I'm going to go to just grab any of these images and I'm going to set because of the way this card view is going to look I'm going to set it very uniform and I want all my images to be a certain size and for this particular example we're going to do a 64 by 64 pixels I'm going to go and we're just going to grab one and though this is not a dog I'm going to use this little monkey here and here's my URL I'm going to go back over here to the Awesome Table, and here I'm just going to. So now when I go back to Awesome Tables, and I refresh, this is what I have. So that, this table is your line to creating truly awesome, awesome tables. So what we're going to do now is look at how do we share this and, and put it into a website. So there are two different options for the old Google Sites and the new Google Sites. The old Google Sites, it used to be a different kind of configuration, but there is a new way to do it with the old ones. And we'll go here to the Share. And we are going to just copy this link. We're going to go back over to a website. This is one of the old sites. And we're going to open up and edit a page insert more gadgets go to public and here at iframe I'm going to select this go ahead and add your URL change this if you want and this is a biggie how do you want it to be as far as pixels let's go ahead and change it to 800 by a thousand. I don't know exactly how it's going to look. We can always adjust that. And we're going to go ahead and hit OK and save. So here is our awesome table embedded into a website. Now apparently 800 was not enough for this site so I would just go back and adjust that and maybe make it a thousand by a thousand. And I want to save it. You know, and you just keep adjusting until you find the right length. So that is with the old site. Now let's go over to the new sites, and this is so much easier. Just go here to a site anywhere. Scroll down, find your place to embed a URL. And that same URL that we used in the other Google site, just go ahead and copy it here, add and then adjust it accordingly. So if you want it to be all the way across the length of your page, just go and drag it on over. 
and then when you're ready, publish it. Look how awesome that looks. And awesome tables can be embedded in other websites. And if you just need to see the gallery of your awesome tables, you would just go back here and you have a whole gallery as long as you're logged into awesome tables. So that is how you use them. And it's just a great tool for um, a very visual display that's very pleasing to the uh, user and very easy to use.